Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be sharing my testimony with you and I don't have a crazy testimony where I was like on drugs for 15 years or something. I definitely don't have a testimony like that, but I do think that every testimony, every story of just walking with Jesus is a valuable one. So I wanted to share mine. Maybe some of you can relate to mine and hopefully it encourages you. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. So I was born and raised in a Christian home and I was a pastor's kid. And I always lived in California, so all of those things were pretty much the same. The majority of my life, I've been a PK, which is a pastor's kid, so my parents have been pastors for most of my life. I grew up in the ministry church world, and I definitely don't regret that upbringing. I love that upbringing. My parents pastored in various cities in California, but we finally settled in Galt, California, which I just made a video on recently if you haven't seen it yet. We settled in Galt when I was about nine and then when I was about 10, we opened our church, real life church of Galt. I was homeschooled from first to eighth grade. So I'm one of those typical homeschool nerds. I'm not a weirdo though. People think that homeschoolers are weird and that is a stereotype. Some people are, but that's not everybody. My main source of friends in middle school was church because that's really the only place that I hung out with people. Middle school was a weird time for me. Just like middle school is a weird time for everybody, but I definitely dealt with a lot of insecurities and you know, all those things that people have. I had a boyfriend for two and a half years when I was in middle school. I totally broke the statistics of middle school relationships. I joined the worship team when I was in sixth grade. So from sixth grade on, I've been on a worship team up until this point, actually. I've always been on a worship team until right now. For high school, my parents decided to send me to Jim Elliott Christian High School and that's where I spent my freshman and sophomore year. Sorry there's a lot of background noise. I'm just trying to get through this without as much background noise as possible. But what was I saying? My freshman year was all about adapting and I really laid low my freshman year. I didn't really do a lot of things because I just wanted to figure out how do you do high school? Like I just didn't know what was going on. So that's kind of how I would characterize my freshman year but my sophomore year was a lot different. I wanted to step out and I wanted to be different. I wanted to share Jesus with as many people as I possibly could. So one of the things that I did is I joined the worship team at Jim Elliott. I became the worship leader there, so that was fun. And I led prayer groups and just, I did all of these different things. And when you step out like that, sometimes there can be persecution just like the disciples felt, but not nearly as bad. I definitely was feeling that persecution. I was cyberbullied by several people at my school and I wouldn't say like bullied in real life, but just like there was a lot of rumors going around about me at school. A lot of people didn't like me. And on top of that, there was a situation that I had to choose between a friend and protecting them or choosing to stand up for what the Bible says. And it was so hard, but I had to choose, you know, to stand up for what the Bible says. So I did, and it was really a crazy situation. Obviously, you don't want to go into the details, but that's what happened. A lot of these situations made me question and doubt my confidence in myself. I couldn't understand why so many people didn't like me. I just didn't know what about me people didn't like. So because of all those situations and things I didn't mention, my parents decided to take me out of that environment and send me to a new school for my junior and senior year which was Bradshaw Christian High School. Again, for my junior year, I tried to lay as low as possible because one, junior year is really hard academically. I think so. Other people might disagree, but it was really hard for me, so I was just trying to survive. 
And two, I just wanted to figure out, you know, how this new school worked. So I didn't really go out of my way like I did my sophomore year. However, I did get asked to lead worship on my campus, which was awesome. Like I said, every situation that I've been in in every area, I got asked to lead worship. It's just something that I feel called to do and I've been so privileged to do it in so many different environments. My senior year was interesting. I definitely think it was my best year of high school. I had a boyfriend for my senior year, so I was focused, you know, on my boyfriend, but I also was really driven and motivated to share Jesus as much as I possibly could. My mindset was this is my last year to show people Jesus in a real and personal way. Whereas it's not just like a religion, but it's more a relationship. And I wanted to make sure everyone knew who Jesus was. The summer after I graduated was another difficult season because I felt like the Lord was telling me to break up with my boyfriend from high school. I didn't really want to do that, but you know, when the Lord tells you to do something, you got to obey or he'll continue to ask you to do that thing. So I eventually did and it was very difficult because, you know, breakups are hard, but also all of my friends from high school ended up only being my friends because of him, which I understand I wasn't really a part of the group or whatever, but it really took a toll on me. I was going through another rough season like I was my sophomore year where I just didn't understand why people didn't like me or all of these things. It just brought up a lot of insecurities that I used to have and it wasn't a good situation. The Lord is faithful though because he gave me two things during that season that were the things that motivated me and gave me joy, which were YouTube and Alec. I started my YouTube channel when I was in that sad place. I think I've talked about it before, but YouTube was just an outlet for me. It's where I could share about the things that I love and people are clicking on my videos because they want to know what I have to say and people like me for who I actually am. That's why I love YouTube. And Alec, obviously, it was sent from Jesus. I feel bad for Alec because when I entered that relationship with him, I just was so hurt and so bitter towards so many different people. But he helped me through all of that pain and all of that bitterness. I just don't know where I'd be without him if I'm being honest. If I look back on my high school years and everything, what I characterize it as, and I told my students this a lot, is I was very boy crazy. All throughout middle school and high school, I was always in a relationship or pursuing a relationship, which I don't recommend doing. If I... Let me put my notes away. <laughs> if I could tell you one thing, ladies, that this season of your life, whether it's middle school, high school, even into college, that is your time. That is your single independent woman time. And I really encourage not to try to date a bunch of people or all those things just because it only leaves you bitter, it only leaves you hurt, and it left me with a lot of damage that later Alec had to help me work through, so that's why I don't suggest doing that. Just my little tangent about that, I just don't think it's a good idea. Take it for what it's worth. My first year of college was pretty normal, like there wasn't anything drastic that happened. I went to Epic Bible College and I pursued my BA in Worship Arts. That's what I'm still going to be pursuing at my new school. At the same time, Alec and I got asked to be youth pastors at Real Life Church, so we did that. And my first year of college and my first year of youth pastoring were awesome. I definitely think there are good like intros to those types of things because those things can be very overwhelming, especially more in the youth pastoring thing than the college thing. Because college, I know how to do school for the most part. But I do think those were good intros to things and God had a perfect timing for all of that. As you already know, if you've been watching my videos, the Lord called us to a different direction just recently. 
and we moved to Tennessee, where I am now. I believe this next season for me is going to be very fun. The Lord has spoke to me just about this season, and I feel like this season will be a time where I can do the things that I've always dreamed of doing, and I just never did them because I didn't have the means or whatever. So that's kind of what this season's going to be looking like for me. I'm very excited for it. So that is my whole testimony. I know it's not like super long, super intricate, but if you can learn one thing from my testimony, it would be to always say yes to the Lord. That phrase is just very important to me because every time the Lord has asked me to do something and I did it, I never regretted it. It always was a good idea and it always benefited me in the end, whether it was a relationship or switching schools or moving or all these different things. Every time the Lord has asked me to do something and I've said yes, it has been so fruitful in the end. So I really want to encourage you with that and that's the end of this video. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope it encourages you because I feel like my story is a little bit more relatable to people just because not a lot of us, you know, go crazy, but some of us are just chilling and things happen to us. So I really hope it encourages you. I hope my mistakes encourage you not to make the same mistakes. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and please leave it down below in the comments if this encouraged you or if you want to share your testimony, just like a short snippet because people might not want to read the whole thing, but just to leave like a short little snippet and I'd love to hear what the Lord has brought you through or all of those things. That would be awesome. So leave that in the comment section below and I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye guys!